Thanks for tuning back in. This is Amir Dabolka from Exploring Excel. You can email me at exploringofficeexcel at gmail.com. This is video number 46. Send emails by user form. Let's move on to our sheet. Okay. Now, in that introduction slide, you must have observed that the level is intermediate. Now, in this level, I'm going to use the user form to... Uh, to send email like this type of some user form is there and I will use to send an email now this contains a many many long features and some of the features I will uh, just tell you now and some of the features if possible I will tell in the other video now going to the visual basic editor pressing alt f11 to go to the visual basic editor first I will say you the components of the same for example these are the all the labels used all this label that is label 2 3 label 1 2 3 4 5 6 4 and all these labels are used this is text box 1 this is text box 2 text box 3 comma box 1 text box 4 and text box 5 this is a button inside the button i have used this pitch uh, picture option in this picture, I have inserted a one small help button picture, picture or you can say icon to provide a help for your application. This I will show you in the later video what does this means and how to do that. And in this attachment, I have just added a small button that is command button 2. This is command button 5. This is command button 2. And in this button, I have again inserted a picture to show which type of the attachment you need. And I have also used one more property here that is control tip text means whenever you just mouse move here and you will you will see a tip here what is this text box for then for this subject I have used multi line where is this multi line okay multi line equals to true and same for this for greetings for greetings it is a combo box and it, it has no list source and all for this I have set horizontal scroll, scroll vertical scroll bar for this I have set the vertical scroll bar and also for this I have set the vertical scroll bar yeah equals to this and that's only and this is a command button 3 and this is command button 4 now this I have just given an accelerator what does this accelerator means when you press an alt keyboard followed by the accelerator that is underlined one this would execute the same procedure I will cover another video how to use this at, uh, accelerator to watch my channel and this is the accelerator for the C now let's run this application to get a, some nice look how it is first here you will just mouse move and you will see uh, the name of the home to deliver then the um, email address of the receiver subject now here when you just now it basic it has high respected or respected madam when you add for example my name and you select this you automatically hi Ahmed Abolkar respected sir dear Ahmed Abolkar you get like that thing and when you click this button it will get open file path and it will select if you want any of this this contact management then just open it displays all the path here and after pressing sending email but you don't have email id and the greetings you can select you can write the content here you can write all everything you can do now this is a help button to provide an help for your application even this is a part of an help now let's get started with the contents first thing is the basic code I have used for the clear button for the clear button this command button 4 I have used the following code with me I have used a with property and when you use the with property you have to provide with an end with statement now with this with property with me then I will say dot text box 1 dot text equals to blank then I have just copied this over down this much cells and just change the number two three four five six this basically makes uh, your text box clear and then I have just called this user form initialize let's see what this user form initialize do going a little down 
this user form initialize now this only has some small procedure like first thing it uh, does uh, does that me dot combo box one dot clear that all high and all if we don't do this action it will autumn repeatedly add the same same item again and again like high respected sir respected madam and dear it will add again and again the same thing and which would make the combo box more bigger and it would not be nice now rec equals to me dot text box one dot text now what is this text box one dot text it is a recipient name that is text box one and dot text is used to reference to dot text and now dot add items this is a with me dot combo box one and with we have to start with with and end with end with then dot add item is hi and rec this rec means the me dot text box one dot value now respected so doesn't need any rec and that is recipient then respected madam dear and respected dear suppose in the name is ame so you can do so this is the use of the salutation you can say greetings for the line this code comes under the user form initialize now going here again back now what is the code used for this this is a very simple code first i have dimmed a variable known as my file path this is your file path of the application like where you want to add any attachments for the same now in this my file path i have just said my file path is equals to application dot get open file name this is a default procedure when you type get open file name uh, this is a default procedure means it will open an open dialog box and now i i don't want to open that file but instead i want the file path so text box one dot text equals to my file path this get open file name is just give the file path of the application Applica give the file path of the document not the application document i mean to say so that was the thing this uh, this small button i have just inserted some picture a uh, picture from here and make it little nice view button now now this send email is the main part send email that is some command button 3 is the main part of the application that is this i am just going to talking about now first thing i will just write some comments here so that you can understand is better first thing i will dim oops i will dim outlook app now this outlook app as object now you can find this outlook app when you click here when you click here and just debug sorry not in debug in references you just go here and just select this microsoft outlook app 15.0 that is for office 2013 object library you can find it some below here microsoft uh, this tools okay and click okay okay that's it i will also show you how to use this send email app again in some another video how to use this so that you can get clearly how exactly to use this but this just now i'm just going to demo now first i dim an outlook app now some in some of the computer this references are not added so i have just dim as our object you can also dim as outlook dot application just now you have named out look dot application because you have that uh, reference inside but some of the computers does not support this or uh, does not have in uh, tick mark that reference so that's why i just dim at object and there at here set outlook app i have the set an outlook app as outlook dot application create object i have used a property now inside this create object when you just open this you get a class as string that is your name of an application which you want and server name as string so i have just created this outlook dot application dim mail item now what is this mail item the contents inside a mail the mail item is the mail item is the contents inside a mail now these are the contents for example to subject body attachment and etc now i have just dim this mail item now then i will i have just created created outlook app 
oops i have just created outlook app next i have set outlook app as new outlook dot application means it will open a new application it will open a new application okay now set mail item equal to outlook dot create item equals to mail item now i have to set mail item this will set the mail item like to set mail item equals to outlook dot create item i have to create a mail item for an uh, for your this mail now first i have just used an on and a resume name the reason why i have used an error handling error handling handle handling this is because like if you don't have a subject for your thing it will show an error if i don't have any attachment it will show an error if i don't have any body it will show an error that's why i use an error handling or on error resume next you can also put that beside below here you can say if text box 1 dot sorry x if text box 2 dot text this is a main part equals to blank oops then then message box you can see the message box like you have forgotten you have forgotten to add email id id and i will just set the com okay then oh, retry ignore that's it title email id please email id please that's it oops then end if okay first but it will not work properly unless i use the segment exit sub exit sub and the exit sub means it will directly go to the end sub and it will close the application and again it will check from the beginning now with m item mail item 2 to type 2 is to whom to send the mail now it is a text box 2 dot text it should not be blank then um, subject what is the subject this text box 3 i guess yeah it's text box 3 uh, text box 3 then this combo box 1 text box 4 and text box 5 okay then body is this and what is this vbcrlf that means to end uh, one space go down i have used it here message equals to vbcrlf vbcrlf that is to go down oneself i will also talk to you in later some of this control vbcrlf and all this control first as in me dot combo box one dot value this greeting of yourselves for example hi and my name amir abulkar this recipient name if you want to give respect at sir and all then i have just used an enter key means you can uh, you can say it's as an enter then me dot text box four dot value that is the body of the text then attachments dot add attachments dot add and i have just said where is the look uh, location of the same that is me dot text box by dot value and you select this attachment dot this source source means the location of the same and dot send if you don't write this dot send it, the message will not be sent it will only save as a draft if, i guess now i have just called a call command button 4 dot click i directly reference this command button 4 that is clear means it will automatically clear all this and I have just called call user form initialize that is this I don't need to call again here user form initialize okay so that was a particular type uh, of this now I have just provided a help here I will just discuss this now I have just uh, inserted a m picture of that now what is this help I have this dim message as string then first this is a help file vbcrlf means it will go here then again one space down and they will write again this statement message and message I mean this message 
then it equals to above message plus this adding now this equals to new message equal to the above all to message plus this up till it goes down and something like email me at and then note now I have to sum the email variable and then message box message will be information and help help this is title of the paragraph now you can use this as an add-in this is a good add-in for an excel you can just go and write an add-in like for example I am just doing a trial it will automatically send an email but I can't show you just now it have, if I have received or not because it's something in my laptop but you can surely try this out and all the code is available in the text file in my Dropbox share folder the link is below the description you can just all copy this you can all just copy all this and I will save it as a Dropbox share folder in the Dropbox share folder and this is how this is a help button this is a very nice to provide a help for an application is very good and it is very important uh, so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and do watch my other videos uh, and do subscribe my channel now have a great day